Black Ops 4 has introduced us to a couple of things that are game changing in the Call of Duty franchise. And we've talked about them here up on the channel, but one thing that we have not talked about all that much yet is in-depth signature and mastercraft weapons within Black Ops 4. Now, this was something that was a big feature toted for Black Ops 4 pre-release when it was finally announced that weapon variants would be in Black Ops 4, but in the way of signature and mastercraft weapons, it was really a hard hitting note that Treyarch wanted to stress that it would be something that would not be stat changing. It wouldn't be something totally dependent on supply drop nonsense like we've seen in previous years, but instead Treyarch wanted to stress the grind-like mentality of signature and mastercraft weapons, which we now see comes in the form of two unique challenges per weapon variant after you complete the headshots or one-shot challenges. But admittedly, two weeks into the game, the inclusion of the black market and a few playlists and full updates later, we're still a little short on the number of variants out there. So the question really becomes, where are they? Is this all that we're going to get? And when will we get more introduced if not? So today, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can acquire every single signature and mastercraft weapon that follows in every format and breaking down the air quote secrets of where others may be, if you wanna put it that way. So hopefully this video can kind of serve to enlighten you on the entirety of signature and mastercraft weapons within Black Ops 4, because right now for something that was such a big key portion of what was being stressed, it feels a little underwhelming in a sense for the initial offering that we have at the very current point in time. So that said, let's just jump right into it. So currently the known signature and mastercraft weapons are associated with a handful of different weapons. So those currently available and known are the ICR Blind and Glory, the MX-9 Patriot, the GKS Damascus, the Titan Sandstorm, the Strife Divinity, the SG-12 Kilcano, and the Maddox Carbon Cobra. Of course, these are more than likely not going to be the only signature and mastercraft weapons because, well, if they were, it's going to be an incredibly dry year for these variants, but with it being such a big piece that was toted before the game launched, I can only imagine how many are already either hidden from plain view, and we'll discuss why in just a second, or that'll be coming in the very near future. I can't see by the end of the year, us as players having anything less than two to three to four weapon variants at the minimum per weapon not just the one per every couple of weapons that we have currently. But that said, how to get them, there's three different ways that I've found so far that we can end up getting signature and mastercraft weapons available to use in the first place. Not talking about how to activate the reactive and mastercraft camos, but more so actually acquiring the weapon variants themselves. Firstly, we have the Operation First Strike, the contraband stream that was introduced to Black Ops 4 and what has seemingly replaced the supply drop system, though there seemingly are also supply drops in this system. So kind of an overall merger, if you will, in some capacity with that. But Operation First Strike offers right off the bat three variants that we know of already so far. That being the Titan Sandstorm, the GKS Damascus, and the ICR Blind and Glory. Now, all of these are in respective tiers that you have to eventually rank up to, and it is a slow going process, no doubt. It is something that will take quite a hefty amount of playtime to end up getting all the way up to that max level, which will then grant you the tier 200 reward of the ICR Blind and Glory. But if you end up making it up to tier 50, you'll end up getting the Titan Sandstorm. Tier 105, you end up getting the GKS Damascus. And again, tier 200 is that ICR Blind and Glory. But that only accounts for three of our weapon variants that we've talked about and prefaced this video with. It's not the only way that we end up getting it. We also end up seeing that there is one and a couple actually probably depending on what bonus you end up getting and maybe I missed one that you may already have but bonuses like the MX-9 Patriot were available for pre-order and digital bonus depending on what variation of the game you ended up getting. So there are a few that are predetermined and probably won't have many more going forward like that but things like the MX-9 Patriot as well as that Divinity Strife are available for players to use just simply based off of whatever version of the game or who they got the game from. So a sort of discontinued to a point where that number is finite and how many will actually be out there, but that's also a way that you can end up getting signature and mastercraft weapons within Black Ops 4. But the biggest question mark in the third way that I've found so far here in terms of getting signature and mastercraft weapons, actually acquiring them, is through reserves. Now this kind of ties back in again with that contraband stream that we end up seeing, not necessarily in terms of the event specific one, but the seasonal one that we have, Operation First Strike, as our first point of reference right now. Of course, in 46, 45 days, depending on whenever you watch this video, then we're going to see another introduction of a new event or a new season, perhaps start up, where we'll have another stream of content available to players. But right now, Operation First Strike offers us quite a bit in terms of 
different character customization, emblems, emotes, weapon variants even in terms of signature and mastercraft weapons. But once you start to get up into the higher ranks, there are a lot of pages where you can see five straight of just reserves. And this is something that as you unlock reserves, it gives you a random drop that is not available in the current supply stream that you can unlock organically that's shown right up front, but instead stuff that is in that contraband stream that has yet to really be discovered. Now myself, I've only gotten a uniform and a few tags, but a few of my friends in the community and people you may actually watch as well have actually gotten weapon variants or signature and mastercraft weapons out of these reserves as well. So it seems like there's a deeper underlying factor that can go into these in which we can end up seeing more weapons come out of this, more signature and mastercraft weapons that are not necessarily known to the general public, maybe hiding in the depths of the reserve system. So essentially, again, playing on that previous supply drop system we've seen before, but hiding it in plain view with a supply stream where you can organically unlock those. And the one that we've talked about here in the video already is the SG-12 Kilcano, to which my friend Prestigious Key ended up sharing his screenshot here of this that he got out of it. And so how many more that may lie beneath the depths of the reserve system? We don't exactly know, but that's a way to get them. Now, if you paid attention to the initial list that we talked about in the very beginning of this video, we did mention that there was a Maddox variation here, the Maddox Carbon Cobra, but that's one that is a little bit of a question mark as well, because this might be a fourth way that we end up getting it. Right now, I'm not really gonna put my money on it just yet because it was something that was seemingly glitched and actually has been since removed from Black Ops 4. If you have the Carbon Cobra variants of the Maddox equipped on any class and you haven't prestiged or you haven't changed the weapon of that class to which you'd have to go back to putting the Maddox on, it is something that is still there for players. Like I still have to create a class slot with the Maddox Carbon Cobra and the Mastercraft equipped. But if you do either of those prestige or change the class at all, you're not gonna be able to go back and get that for that loadout. But where this comes into play as maybe being that fourth variation available is that it may be just coincidental timing, but I ended up getting this one right after I prestiged and went into prestige one. But having it been removed, I don't know if that was something that was just a bug that every player got it or if every player that prestiged got it, Whatever it is, we don't exactly know. We have no way to verify because again, it was since removed. So perhaps it is one that does play into maybe prestige rewards or something like that. Or perhaps we just somehow got something that was hidden away in reserves like we talked about previously, just brought up and given to everybody accidentally. So we don't know exactly, but keep that in mind that there might be other ways such as that to end up getting signature and mastercraft weapons. But right now that's the three known ways and how to get those weapon variants. But what about the future? Because like we said, right now we are very slow going on all the signature and mastercraft weapons that we know about. And with there only being a handful of them out there, I can't imagine this is going to last forever like this. I can only assume that we're going to have a ton of these introduced very soon. Maybe with the blackjack shop coming next month, maybe with the update coming next week. Who exactly knows? But as for future ways that I would again expect these to come, well again, maybe more in future seasons, we gradually get more of those added in. I'm hoping that per season, if there's still 200 tiers per season or operation we end up getting, I'm really hoping that there's more than just three spread out across 200 tiers that we can end up getting as players. Then we also have the possibility of an item shop material that you can end up actually buying outright these items and these signature and mastercraft weapons, whether that be with COD points or with in-game currency that may be added in a later point in time. But again, Blackjack Shop is coming next month in November alongside, but maybe not in conjunction with Nuketown. Both are just coming in November. Then we also have potentially the season pass bonus because if you guys remember back, we had a little bit of a leaked blog post from Activision talking about how Black Ops pass holders would have the ability to skip 10 tiers in the contraband stream for each season. We haven't seen that just yet, but what if also included in that we have another weapon variant given off for free to Black Ops pass holders like that, giving a little more value to that bundle that you were to buy, but that's just a little bit of an educated guess there. But the one thing that I'm a little on the fence about being concerned, but also interested in how it works out on seeing more of is reserves. Because like we mentioned, this is still essentially the supply drop system within the contraband stream. Right now, there is no way to actually buy supply drops, but you're also not guaranteed anything out of that slot when you end up ranking up to earn a reserve. You get one random item out of the pool, which right now is unspecified for how many items are actually in that pool, but you're not guaranteed anything. So there's a part of me that's intrigued to see if this will end up getting better or worse, but I'm also slightly concerned about where this might go. So 
right now, the future also may actually just be dependent on how many of these items are locked behind the reserves and locked behind that pool that we don't know how deep it goes just yet. But as it stands, that's really all there is to know on the signature and Mastercraft weapons and the system at hand within Black Ops 4. So I'm really curious to hear your thoughts here on this. Are you guys a fan of what we have at the moment? Are you guys like me and slightly surprised that for a system that was toted as so big, we have really seen next to nothing in terms of the variants for each weapon. There's only a handful of weapon variants out there and probably about four to five times more compared to that actually in game. So right now the number seems rather low to me for what we have, but how many are out there and have yet to be discovered? That's something that gives more questions rather than answers. So time will have to tell on that one, but that's where we're gonna wrap it up. So hopefully this was insightful. Hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape or form. And if you're like me again, just really curious on the future of what signature and Mastercraft weapons are going to be out there. Well, hopefully this enlightened you in some way, shape or form on how to currently get them and everything that is currently available. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you are also new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things black Ops 4, multiplayer, blackout, zombies, we got you covered here up on the channel with the best of tips, tricks, information, best class setups, news, updates, all that good stuff, we got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on both those, so those links are in the description below for you guys to check out if you guys are willing to do so. But other than that, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.